Hello everyone, my name is Dustin Weekly, and welcome to the Gamer Game Show. You know, Bethesda doesn't do a great job emphasizing how creepy it would actually be to have a sometimes invisible man in a trench coat follow you around and just randomly kill people for you. Just saying. But that's exactly what we're here to talk about today. Just exactly who is the mysterious stranger from Fallout? The mysterious stranger appears in every Fallout game including Fallout, Fallout 2, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4, and yes, even Fallout Shelter. These games take place in a range of about 126 years, which would make the mysterious stranger pretty freaking old. It's not entirely impossible though, seeing that Cabot from Fallout 4 is 452 years old, and Dr. Braun from Fallout 3 is in the range of 220 to 260 years old. Hey, stop right there. I can hear you typing in the comments, okay? And guess what? I 100% agree with you. Well, except for maybe that, like, stupid part at the end that was pretty hateful. But anyways! So, unless the mysterious stranger is using something to extend his life, I don't think he could possibly be human or just one person. However, the mysterious stranger as we know him is an Asian male wielding a 44 Magnum while wearing a trench coat and a fedora. Weird thing is that this doesn't line up with the mysterious stranger that we know in Fallout 1 and Fallout 2, who has multiple different outfits and weapons depending on your level. Which leads me to believe that the mysterious stranger that we've grown to love in the games made by Bethesda Studios is a different man than the ones made by Black Isle Studios and Interplay Entertainment. So for now, we're just going to focus on the sexy Bethesda version. If you play Fallout New Vegas and meet up with a man known as the Lonesome Drifter, he talks about his father who abandoned him when he was young and says some pretty interesting things. That he did. Never did know why. Ma always said he was a real mysterious fella, even when he was with her. Like he was a stranger sometimes. Whoa, 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 guys, guys. It's right there. Mysterious stranger. Like, jeez, talk about some context clues. From such a simple conversation, we can see that this man, Lonesome Drifter, is the son of the Mysterious Stranger. Oh, you want more proof? Okay. Well, one of the things that the Lonesome Drifter's father left him was a guitar, and what do you hear when the Mysterious Stranger shows up? A frickin' guitar! Okay, 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 maybe that's not the most solid evidence, but uh, how about this? If you can pass through some barter checks during your conversation with the Lonesome Drifter, he will give you a weapon called the Mysterious Magnum, a gun that his father left him. And what does the Mysterious Stranger carry? A 44 freaking Magnum, people. Still not good enough for you. Okay, well, listen to what happens when you draw and holster this new weapon that he gave you. Okay, so if you're not convinced by now, I cannot help you, and you need to go get some professional help. But I do have one more piece of evidence if you still don't quite believe me. I mean, look at those beautiful mustaches. If that facial hair doesn't run in the family, I don't know what does. Anyway, how does knowing that the Lonesome Drifter is the Mysterious Stranger's son help us figure out who the Mysterious Stranger is? Well, the Lonesome Drifter mentions that he's 28 years old, so this will help us place when the Mysterious Stranger was born and how old he is. So let's assume that the youngest that the Mysterious Stranger knocked up the Lonesome Drifter's mom and had his son was at the age of 18. Well, that would put the Mysterious Stranger at the age of 46 during the events of Fallout New Vegas. And he's looking pretty good for that age. Well, if the Mysterious Stranger was 46 at the time, that would put his birthday in the year 2235, just six years before the events of Fallout 2, which lines up perfectly, putting him at 42 years old in the events of Fallout 3 and 46 years old in New Vegas. So what's up with him going from being 46 in Fallout New Vegas and looking like he's in his 20s to being in his 50s in Fallout 4 and looking like he's in his mid-50s to early 60s? Well, he could just be a different person, but I don't think so. I took a photo of the mysterious stranger in his younger years and a photo of him in Fallout 4 and put them in a facial recognition software. And drumroll, please? I only got a 55% match, but hey, that's okay, it's not like we're working with the NSA's facial recognition software here. It's a beta version of an in-browser software, so let's look at some more info. 
I took the data and compared it, and everything that wouldn't be affected by age pretty much matches up. As you age, your nose and your ears continue to grow and they start to droop, and your face begins to sag and droop, making your face look longer than when you were younger. And if we take the facial charts of these two photos and compare them in Photoshop, the only thing keeping them from being a perfect match is that the older aged face is longer than the younger face, which is exactly what would happen as he aged. The next part may seem stupid, but I also decided to take the young mysterious stranger and put him through one of those Oldify apps. And I don't know what you think, but I think that's exactly what the older mysterious stranger would look like in Fallout New Vegas graphics. Especially when I add the magic touch. Okay, cool. We know now that the mysterious stranger is the same man throughout the Bethesda games. But just exactly who is he specifically? Well, we also know that the only time he appears is when a player slows down time in VATS. And before you say VATS doesn't slow down time, we don't know at all what VATS does. According to the only lore about it that I could find on a freaking loading screen in Fallout 4, VATS, or the vault Tech Assisted Targeting System, is an advanced combat technology whose developmental origins have been lost to time. So, seeing as the only representation we get is time distortion, that's what I'm going with here. This ability has to have something to do with who he is. It would seem like the only people who can see him are the main characters in a Fallout game who have access to Vats and Nick Valentine. Nick has a full report on the Mysterious Stranger and is the only character that recognizes his existence when he appears, which I will explain in a moment. When the Mysterious Stranger was about six years old at the beginning of Fallout 2, there was an event with a character known as the Guardian of Forever. Basically, there was a situation that called for the main character to mess with time, and the Guardian of Forever helped him do that. My theory, as wobbly as it may be, is that with the Mysterious Stranger being around at that time, he was affected by the time distortion which gave him the ability to step through and in between time and help people when he could. I know according to the Lonesome Drifter, he used to live in Montana. But, that's when he was 18, and for all we know, he could have lived in California when he was younger with his father, whose name was Farmer. His name was literally Farmer. He's a special encounter in Fallout 2. And if you look at the guide for Fallout 3, it tells us that the mysterious stranger's name is Farmer. He could have taken his father's name at a young age and moved to Montana when he was around 18, which would put him in California where and when this time distortion happened. So if he could step between time, this could explain why he looks like he's in his 20s when he's almost 50 and why he left his family at such a young age. His quick aging in Fallout 4 could have something to do with the side effects of abusing or being stuck in a dimension where time passes so quickly while time around him passes normally. I also believe that the reason he shows up in Vats in the Bethesda-made games is because after continuous use of this power growing up, he could have gotten stuck in the space between time. And when Vats slows down time, it gives him a window to step out and be useful again which would give him reason to follow around someone who has access to the vault Tech assisted targeting system. And he may believe that this is his only way out of the situation that he's stuck in. And why do I think Nick Valentine is the only one who can see him? That was him, the stranger. He was right here. Where'd he go? Well, Nick is a synth, and synth can process things faster than humans, they're basically computers, so I think maybe, for the split second that he shows up, Nick's brain can see it faster than other characters in the game. Like I said, that's just a theory. Now, I know this theory has holes in it, and it's hanging on by a thread, but after about two weeks of research, and probably being on a watch list somewhere for searching too much on about how facial recognition works, and now knowing way more about the human body aging process than anyone should ever know, this is the best thing I could come up with. And like I said, this is my very own theory, and I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. If you have your own theories or you want to build off of mine, please put it down in the comments below, and we might be able to revisit this video sometime in the future. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.